G'day guys and girls, Buzz the Box here. Today we are back with Car Simulator, or Car, car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And um, yeah, it's all gonna get into it a little bit different today. Um, as you see, we got our um, old regular workshop, but I'll be playing um, offline a little bit. And bam, we got more space. I've gone ahead and did a bit of an upgrade. Um, I actually stuffed up a little bit. As you can see, I only got nine grand. Um, I ended up w wanting to select this, but I selected this instead. Um, and then I couldn't get the um, added expanded garage. So I had to um, reset points. And apparently it's not a thousand dollars. It's actually a thousand dollars for every point. So I lost about 11 grand just by doing that. And I was pretty pissed off. Um, so I just got rid of the tire one. I uh, don't really need it. You can just take it off the car to figure it out. No biggie there. But the other reason I'm so short on funds is, um, well, I got a little surprise for you guys. Um, you probably see it in the thumbnail anyway. But uh, yeah, so pretty much we've gotten a, a car, uh, an engine crane now. We've got the extra hoist, which we'll be using, utilizing a little bit. Uh, we've got storage space. We also got this little office in here. So we've got a couple of more computers, some uh, new ones. Look at this. Um, what does that say? Predator. The Predator. We have a, I don't know, do you know what that is? That looks like a gas torch bottle, something. Coffee maker. Need your cup of joe when you're working on the car. Laptop for no reason. But anyway, there's nothing. Random stuff in the office. Like, why is that there? Why is that there? Should be out here. Um, no welding devices yet. That's going to come later on. But um, the big thing I want to show you guys, hold on, I've got to figure out where the, where the door is. I think it's here. Exit the parking. So I spent a little bit of money. I've gone to those barns, I had a look, and something caught my eye. And um, I had to get it, it was purple. I like purple. The body was in good condition. So um, yeah, I just went ahead and bought it. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look in a second, as soon as it's done loading. But um, sorry about the, ah, here it is, right in the corner. There we go, we have the, oh, well, let's see the car stats. It is the, Bolt Rollette, and as you can see, it's a pretty complete car. It's it's missing the uh, boot. Um, it's got all the other panels except for one headlight, but um, everything's nearly here. It's got uh, I think there's one rocker arm that needs to be put on, and um, yeah, the rocket cover itself. And other than that, just a couple of electronical things that need to be done on the car. So we're going to do that. See if we can make a bit of a profit because I'm down. You know, 35,000 for the car. I'm only going to get 30 at the moment. And, um, yeah, the, see if we can move it. Can we move it? Why can't we move it? Move to garage. There we are. That's what we want. But, um, we got to go back through the wheel. But, yeah, a bit of a stuff up there. Bought the car and then, yeah, just wasted that 11 grand. That was going to give us most of what we needed. So I did a couple of more jobs. Just to get our funds up a little bit because we do need money to uh, work on other cars as well. We need to get parts in before we can finish the job. Um, for the storyline ones, that can be quite expensive, like replacing all the parts because they want it 100% and whatever else. So you end up um, using more parts, buying more expensive parts. With the other jobs, not too bad. And sorry if there's a lot of background noise, it, it's windy as shit here and the animals are just going crazy. So we're going to put this one on the second hoist. Nope, that's not the second hoist. That just moves it out into the corner. Lift B. So lift B is here. So we're just gonna, like, we haven't unlocked a paint booth or anything, but we are gonna put some body panels. It's not gonna be a perfect car. I'm not keeping it. We're not going to get it 100%. We're just gonna get it to run and see if we can't make a profit on it. Um, so I think, first of all, we'll lift it up. And I'll show you what I've done with the car. Um, I've pretty much left it stock, but I did take down the entire car because I wanted to, um, I just wanted to see the condition of it for you guys because I knew it was going to be a lengthy process going through all the parts. If I do this now, bam, you can see the car's in great condition. I didn't check this. So um, let's actually do that now. These are the only two parts in the entire car I haven't checked out. The last couple of mufflers. Um, pretty much just I had a look at the back, but I had to tear down the whole engine, make sure everything's right with it. it. Has no oil at the moment, and it's got a few electrical things missing. So um, there's nothing to do on the lift. Everything else is in pretty good condition. Um, if we look at the 
we go over here, you see like 61 is probably the worst crank bearing cap and everything else just gets better and better and better. Our radiator C cap, so we might need a radiator cap. Let's actually see if we can... Ah, so that's separate. Didn't know that was separate. Uh, maybe... Normally I just put radiators in and it's all set, so... Let's examine that that cap. cap's perfect. So yeah, um... Yeah, not sure about everything else. I know there's that rocker there that needs to go on. Which is a uh, V8 OHV. Rocket covers, looks like we need an ignition coil V and a fuel filter. And then the rocket cover themselves. So, um, what are they? Just OHV cover B. So I'm gonna go get those parts right now. And see if we can't get this uh, car to start. I haven't heard it start yet. I haven't been able to um, get it on the test track or the test um, thing there, which we don't really need now, now that we've, um, I've gone down the whole car, tore it down and everything. So we need, um, uh, what is that? Yeah, head covers. We need B, and you cover, engine head cover. We need two of these, they are expensive. Uh, let's make sure these are the right one. So I have a feeling that one of them will be, one of them might not be. Because we actually, one of them's meant to have the the cap for the oil. So I think that's probably A that's going to go over there. But we need the rocket, the, the rocket itself. So let's have a look at the rockers next. Um, sometimes the uh, mouse scroll will go the opposite way. We need a fuel filter. It's always um, a good idea to pick that up. And we need coil B. Alright. Now, now we need the rocker. Where would that be? The end of R. And... And... Okay, well I'm not going to fool around with it too much. I'll just um, pop back out and see the actual name of it and just type it in the search. We can put the other things back on now. We can put this back on. Or put this on. It, has, it didn't have one when I got it. Pretty much bought nothing for this car. I've just um, just took everything out, made sure everything was gonna be good. Just rocker arm. Just got a rocker arm, so we'll go ahead. I hope that um, I didn't get the right, wrong part then. Rock, rocker arm. See how it goes now. So this car should fire up like straight away. It shouldn't be any drama after we put these parts on. Ah, uh, we need A. I knew it. I knew it. Well, let's get rid of this. How much money do we get? We get half the money back, pretty much, so it's not terrible. It would have been better if I just uh, got the right part in the first place. We'll go back to the engine. No need to type it in. We know what section it is, because they all look like engine covers. Um, yeah, see. Uh, where is it? That one. It's got the little um, oil filler at top there. We can put that there. Bloody dogs whinging everywhere. Bloody winds driving them crazy. It is a weekend, so we've got neighbors mowing lawns and stuff. Even though it's the middle of winter and grass isn't growing, it's still mowing lawns, keeping it tidy. Um, that looks like it, guys. I can't think of anything else that needs to be done. Let's go cast at it. Rim, rim, what the hell is a rim roll it? I, I don't even know what that is. But um, what I want to do, let's test it out, see if it runs. Let's see how much money we can get as well. How much is it worth now? It's only worth 31,594. So we're making a, a quite a hell of a loss out of this car anyway. Um, let's get some body parts actually before we test, uh, test it out. As soon as the uh, page comes up, here we go. We got body shop. Need headlight, headlight first, and then boot, trunk, whatever it's called. Uh, it should be a single one. Bolt roll left. Left. It is the left. All right. Boot. Some Australian. That's what we call it. Call it a trunk. Trunk. There we go. And 
see the bolt and let trump. Is, is that it? I think that's it. Alright, so um, let's touch this piece. Add piece. Flips headlight. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Trunk. Gonna change the colour. No, nope, looks like it's black. Uh, that doesn't look terrible. Uh, black boot. Would have been nicer with a black bonnet. That's the car complete. Pretty much complete, 900%. And it's only 31 and a half. Really wasn't worth that money. Um, I don't know what this is. What the hell is the rim roller? So it must be. Must be one of the tires I didn't take off. Well, I'm gonna go and see if I can't find it. Because I'm pretty sure I've searched the whole car. So let's see. Nope, that's the wrong one. It is this one. It is this one. Um, all the rims seem fine. Anyway, that's not important. What is important that it starts. So let's uh, bring the car down. Let's pray that it starts. So let's uh, move it to... Let's just move it out in front of the, the garage. Okay. Now it's, um, now it's go time, I guess. Let's start it up. Start. Does it sound like it's starting up? Start the car. Drive the car, let's drive the car. Let's drive the car to the junkyard. It looks like it starts, I didn't hear it. Um, all I can hear is that music pretty much, so I might turn down that music. It's actually getting a little irritating. Um, so I'll be back in a second. Oh, we're at the junkyard, guys. Um, oh wow, you can search the junk, so it's a bit like um, the scrap that you find in, oh wow, lots of parts in here. The scrap that you find at the... Oh, here we go. How much for you? Can I buy you? Can I can't do anything with you? You yeah, buy. How much is this? It's only 27. Oh, we need to come back here. We definitely need to come back here. Um, yeah, so it's a bit like the barn finds. 27, that's a bargain. I think that will be like a later project. Actually, that could be a pretty soon project. 100% fix that car. Um, I think I do want to wait until I am able to fix the body because as you can see, the body is just rotted out. That's no good. Um, I don't know if we can actually strip the cars and make money from stripping them down. Um, but we got, ooh, what's this? Ooh, got some uh, class over here. Anyway, it's not something we're gonna look at. Got like a Mustang looking car over here. Yeah, we got, we got this thing. Is this actual car? Nah, it's just a, it's a piece of crap. So you can just like look at piles just like you can do in the barns. This is actually pretty cool, but all the parts are just what, fucked anyway. So, let's see, this is an exit. Okay. So there's a few cars in here, so this might be worth a look a little bit later. Oh, it wasn't actually, ooh, what's this? Alright, cool. We'll only take uh, certain cars as well. The parts that. Oh, excuse me. Get bigger hiccups. So that is very, very interesting. The Challenger. Um, oh, this is cool. Look at these two. Especially this one. Look at this one. This one for sale. Uh, that one's for sale too, but it's, uh, it's not what I want to spend right now. So um, I'm going to head back out head back to the garage and we'll try to sell this car we're not going to make any money off it at all um but then we can get onto other things maybe come back and uh start working on that car pretty much do everything but the body um it's going to take a while before we can actually repair bodies with the barn finds you find that the uh, body isn't normally too bad but in the junkyard obviously everything's a bit cheaper but it's just um yeah just uh, a matter of working on it just gotta wait for the car simulator to kick back in. Here we are, so let's have a look at our car. Did it run? Should we take it to the test track? 
see how this is going. This is a vintage tire. See, the, all these tires don't really care about it. Um, muffler, re muffler works. I don't know what they're talking about. Let's just get rid of it. Let's sell it. First car made a profit of minus 20 grand or something. So uh, now we can get back with the normal stuff until we make enough money. Actually, actually, let's see if we can go to the junkyard with that. Yeah. So we can go to the junkyard now. That's how you unlock that. You get the second bay, you can go to the junkyard, you can pick up a car. And I want that challenger. I want that challenger. I want to see if you can strip it down and then put it in the parking spot. Uh, you probably still need wheels on it. But uh, I'm pretty sure you could uh, make cars that don't move or don't run. Uh, you can move it around the shop. And the challenger's moved. So it's gone. All the cars are gone. It's a disaster. That's what happens um, with the barns. The barns disappear. Now we've got no car. We've got no car. We're going to have to wait a while to come back here. Is there something in there? Is there a hidden gem anywhere? Yeah. Ooh, we've got one car. Okay, we've got one car. What are you? That's pretty much the car we just just dropped off. Now this one would have been a smarter one to buy because it's... Nah, I really want that Challenger. Um, should we buy another car? That is the big question. How much are you? It's only 16. We could make this thing run. Would we make a profit? Uh, hard to say. There is a engine in there, so that's good. We're just going to make that run. Everything else is thrashed out, though. Um, I don't know if it's worth just quitting and coming back for that challenge. I really want that challenger. I want to have a challenger. Um, screw it. Let's do it. I'm sick of working on other people's cars. Let's do our own. Uh, it's just a debate. Do we want this one? Or do we want to work on that same car again? Uh, I think we'll go this one. Needs a few things, but you know. Stylish looking car. Are you sure you want the... Yep, 16 grand. Let's uh, go to the garage. And uh, we could actually get both of them. I think. Alright. Let's go see uh, what's wrong with this car. We'll get it on the, the hoist. Check all its uh, major suspension. Let's see if it starts first. I can't actually, couldn't hear the engine in the last one. I'm assuming it ran. Uh, everything was on it. Everything was in good condition. Like everything, fuel tank, bloody bearings, everything. That music is back. Come here. All right. So there's no seats. The interior is pretty good. Interior is pretty good. Um, no steering wheel either. Um, but let's just get this on a hoist first of all. Hoist number one. Why not? You know what I forgot to do with the last car? I forgot to put oil in it. Rookie mistake there. Uh, let's have a look at this. Okay, so we can't actually tell anything from here. We'll have a quick... Nah, nope. Nope. Let's uh, get some body parts on this thing so we can actually drive it. Uh, let's see what it, what is this thing called? It is called a Luxor Bowen. Okay, Luxor Bowen. Oh, six. Luxor. Alright, well, whatever. I need front seats. Front would it be a bench seat though? Would they be bench seats for this old car? Go front. There we go. Front bow one. There we go. Uh, steering wheel. Steer. Mm, get custom steering wheel. Okay. Steering wheels. Charger. Bow one. Let's go original. Dogs are howling and everything. They hate this wind. Alright, well, I think we can just go, we can just place it in there, no? Okay, well, let's move it. Can I move it? Can I move it, move it, move it? I like to move it, move it. Alright, so, um, we should be able to get to the interior from here now. 
Um, is that Tyria dismantle? Tyria Sam. Oh, what's this bullshit? <sighs> Alright, well. Okay, take the front seat and the left seat, okay? Um, that's annoying. That is annoying. Um, I thought for sure they were going to be bench seats. Uh, leather. We can probably do any one we want. I'm just seeing if there's an actual one for this in particular car. It doesn't seem like it. So uh, let's just go for a cheap version. It'll get more expensive as they go. Oh, look at the fabric. We need some leather. Get some, um, see what the fabric looks like in here. Is it leather? Okay, I can't tell if that's light or if that's the actual pattern of the up and slide, so. It's taking a lot longer to do the interior, just a couple of seats. Let's do a couple of these, why not? Fabric B. Let's see if this works. Alright, well that will do. That will do, the car looks very unperiod correct, but anyway. Uh, that's all we need, our right hand door. So it is a Luxor Bowen. Keep on forgetting the name. Get some bodywork done on this thing. Not new page. I like it's got good music when you're fucking around with this. Uh, like so. Need left or right? We need right. Okay. Yep, just chilling out in the passenger seat. Actually looks uh, pretty good in here. A little bit on the front dash, but I don't believe we have the cleaning, interior cleaning stuff yet. And it doesn't look like it. Should be like a squeegee or something around here. Anyway, we'll go assemble mode. And we need a front window for this thing. We need a lot of things for this thing. Let's go rear window. Let's go to all these windows. It needs a right side mirror so we'll get a right side mirror yeah right side mirror with front window front window no just left don't <laughs> I do that a lot all right see what's missing after that looks like it needs its rear Rear window on this side. Okay, right body window A. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now we're a right body window A. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. If I can just um, press the right button. There we are. Okay, the body is complete. That's about as good as we're going to get it. Now, uh, let's move this up on the... Actually, will it run? Let's check oil. It won't run without any oil. Which I should have checked on the other one. I can't believe I didn't do that. I'm in the engine bay. This bullshit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like that. Dipstick. It's got no oil. So, um, that means there's a problem inside the motor. Probably. Let's, um, let's just move it. Move it back on the hoist. Uh, let's see if we can't get it running and just get it get it lost pretty much. Um, so the first thing we'll do is look at parts it needs. Okay, so it looks like I need another coil, fuel filter. The fuel tank and the fuel filter at the back look pretty bad. A lot of this car looks pretty bad. It needs an oil filter as well. So um, pretty easy to find. They're all in engines the engine up parts up parts let's go engine okay so we need filters and coil and they're probably lower down there we are okay 
back. Should take that coil. And should. Ah, uh, what one would it be? It'd be a V8, I think. Uh, it'd be this one. Just guessing. But it's an older car. I'm guessing it's, that's what it is. Ah, uh, it needs clips for the distributor as well. You can see it from here. It's going to be underneath, so I'm going to have to lift it up for that. Does it need both clips? It does need both clips. It needs exhaust as well, so... What sort of exhaust does it take? It's kind of V8, okay. It's not too bad. It shouldn't be too bad to find. Uh, exhaust manifolds should be an engine as well. Even though it's part of the exhaust, it should be, um, should be up here. Hmm. Let's go many. That'll do. Intake manifolds. No, we want exhaust manifolds. We need that one. And then we'll just look up clip. Clip shouldn't be a problem. And there we are, clip A or B. That's, that could be a problem. Uh, are you A or B? They are B. B is the other side, B as well. It should be B. B, cool. Not a problem there. Uh, back to here. Two. Price, 70 bucks. So I think I have. 40 grand before we started, uh, before I bought this. So hopefully when we sell this, we should have a bit more. Okay. So let's raise this thing up. Actually, manifold should be able to go on from up here. Should be. Actually shouldn't be much of a... Okay, it's, I'm in the engine bay. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Got it on the right angle. There we are, some bolts, quick bolts. But yeah, as you can see, some of the parts are probably, probably need replacing anyway, but see if we can't get it started. If we can get it started and we get a profit, we might just do that. I don't know if we're up for a um, upgrade on our tools yet, ah, uh, either. No, nowhere near it, nowhere near it. So let's uh, put this in, make sure we put oil in, it's the big thing. Cool. It is. Ah, we need, nah, of course. I'll explain why it's got no oil, does everything look good? The, no, we, we've got some bearings and stuff to get under here. Um, rod cap, rod cap, rod cap. And rod cap, so four rod caps. And an engine sum. Okay, it's... Is taking a turn. Rod cap, so it's four. And we've got a sump. Not called a sump in here. Oil pan. Oil pan. V8. It's that one. I guess the modern ones are just called the V8, so. This one's just the overhead valve, I believe. I believe, I'm just guessing, with that name. I always thought that um, OHV stood for um, Open Highway Vehicle. Because <laughs> they're not really good at Because they're normally big and chunky and just a pain in the ass to drive on uh, narrow streets. Okay, so this should start up now. As long as the parts aren't too mangled in there. Hopefully it doesn't take a... Do we have a starter? Go to gearbox. It will tell us what we need. Now come all the way down, all the way down. So get over here. Get the big pour happening. Big pour. One of the cars actually overfilled it, but it didn't seem to be a problem. It was like right on full. So that should be enough. Now we can hop out of here now. Move it to garage entrance B. See if she cranks. I can hear it. Did it? I don't think it started. Drive. You can go to test track. Let's go to test track. 
pistol. There is piston rings missing from the car. Why was the pistons in then? Oh, that's that's crazy. All right, guys. Well, I think that's all the time we have anyway. Let's get out of the car. I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna probably sell it. Um, get it going. Sell it. See if we make a profit or not. Keep you keep you informed about that. But I'm just trying to grind for this game, try to get some better better tools and stuff. I really want to get it and make a perfect car. Rebuild a car top to bottom, 100%. See if we make a profit from it. Um, but we don't even get into welding until we need like 35 points. Five, 35 points. See down there, what's this one? Fast walking, discount shop, that would be handy. 50% trips. Okay, so it costs money together? I did not know that. I simply examined 20 parts. First time seeing a car. Order barn, jack out auction. That'll be good too once we get into the auction side of things. There's so much to unlock and I've got to fill around with these points before I can move on. So I'm going to get to 15 points. That might be successful repair, but I think you've got to build them up too. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this episode, if you did, please leave a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment on the video, what car would you like to see me build, are you into your Mopars, do you want to see a Challenger, do you want me to do a Charger, or do you like your Mazdas, there's Mazdas in this DLC too, so uh, we can do a Mazda as well if you want, or some of the game in-game cars, there's um, a fair few of them, uh, if you want a modern car, classic car, muscle car, let me know in the comments and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. But most importantly, guys, you just have a great day and fulfilling life. See you next time.